Today we're going to talk about how to add data inside an array. And this is whether the array is empty or if it already has data inside of it. We're going to talk about how to add data to existing arrays. So the first thing we need to do here is we need to create an array. So I'm going to go ahead and create a variable called data. I'm going to set it equal to an array. Do you notice that I didn't put any kind of data inside the array because right now what we have here is an empty array. So there's no data inside of it. Now we're going to use three different methods in order to insert data into this array. And all these methods are going to work whether you have an empty array or an array that already has data inside of it. It's basically just going to add data behind the array. So if you have data, it's going to be the last data that goes behind there. So the first method we're going to use is we're going to go, and go down to the next line. We're going to reference to our variable data by writing variable data. And we're going to add brackets behind it and set it equal to some kind of data. So right now we can, for example, say we have a string called Daniel that needs to be inserted into this array. And then because we already created the array that's up here and then added the data underneath here, now if I were to echo this out inside the browser, I'm going to say echo variable data brackets. And we want to reference to the first data because right now, because there was no data inside the array, Daniel is going to be the first data, which is equal to zero. If I were to go back to the browser, you guys can see it says Daniel. Now, in order to see everything we're doing in here, let's actually go ahead and not echo out just the first data. Let's go ahead and write something called print underscore R parentheses, and then insert our variable data inside of it because right now it's actually going to write out every single data inside this array up here. So if I were to go back to the website, you guys can see we have array and then we have the first value, which is equal to Daniel. Now, if I were to go underneath Daniel and then copy paste it one more time, add another piece of data, which could be 15 in this example, just a number, go back to the browser, refresh, you guys can see we get a second piece of data. So by adding these underneath your array, you're just going to go ahead and add data to it. Now, this is the first method we can use. And this is not one that I usually use because it's, it takes a bit more code to write it this way. Now, if I were to go back to my code and delete these two data, go back to my browser, refresh it, you guys can see we now lose the data. So we need to make sure we already have the data inside the code. Otherwise, it's going to lose it again. Now, the second way you can add the, the data to this array is by going in and using a PHP function called array push. So array underscore push parentheses. Now, the thing about array push is that we need to tell it which array do we want to push data inside. So we have one up here called variable data. So I'm going to put that in as my first parameter. Then I'm going to add a comma. And then I need to tell it which data I need to insert. So right now I could also add Daniel. Save it, go back to my browser, refresh, and you guys can see we now get Daniel again. If I want to add more data, I can go ahead and copy this, paste it underneath here. And again, I can add, for example, a string like 15. And now we have a second piece of data. Now, if this is too much code to write, because this is more code to write than the previous method, what we can do is we can just go ahead and use this array push and then keep adding data behind uh, the existing data we have in here. So if we were to say after Daniel, comma, 15, comma, 23, for example, save it, refresh the browser, you guys can see we can also do it this way, which is kind of nice. So by using array push, we can avoid having to write more code than by using the one we just add the bracket and set it equal to something. So this is how we can insert data inside an array. Now, just to show you guys, if I were to go up inside my variable data equal to an empty array and insert some kind of data inside of here, let's call this one first. Then I might want to add another piece of data called second. And now go ahead and refresh the browser. You'll notice that we have first, second, then Daniel, 15 and 23. Like so, because we just add the data behind the existing array. So this is how you can add data inside a race. And this is something that's quite useful for you to know if you want to do something more complicated in PHP, like object oriented PHP or something. So I hope you guys find this useful and I'll see you guys next episode.